Welcome to the 2024 National Honor Society induction ceremony. I'd like to invite Mrs. Watkins, our esteemed director, to welcome everyone. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Ms. Sambento. Um, so good afternoon. Welcome to all of you here. Um, I want to be the first to congratulate today on candidates for induction into the Davies Career and Technical High School chapter of the National Honor Society. Here's the chapter over here. These are inductees over here. Um, inductees, I, I said this last year and I'm gonna say it again. Um, please know that you didn't wind up um, on the stage by chance. Um, if you look back, you're gonna see a pathway constructed of consistent behaviors on your part leading straight to the ceremony. Um, the pathway to the ceremony you created and carved out for yourself via hard work and good choices. So I just want to reiterate to everybody, to our inductees especially, to celebrate this moment, um, reflect on it, use the ceremony to reflect on it, and please also Always allow your family to take lots and lots of pictures. Um, don't roll your eyes or a deep sigh too much. Um, but I want to thank everyone for coming, and thanks to all of you for making us all so friendly. Thank you. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected by the faculty of our school for successfully completing their candidacy and are being inducted as new members of our National Honor Society chapter. For current members and those former members who may be among our guests, we hope this will serve to remind you of the standards of excellence you too are charged with maintaining as members of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition program. Our chapter is proud to have been inducting new members since 2019, and with today's ceremony, indicates the continuing emphasis on excellence that we represent for our school and community. Throughout the year, members of our chapter serve as role models for other students. In addition to the strong academic records which establish the eligibility for membership, our chapter members are leaders in many student organizations, and we serve our school and community through many activities including Future Student Night, Welcome to Open House, Nature Drawing Empowerment Factory, Helping Tutoring Various Studies, Reading to the YMCA Preschool, Spring Into Action, the Annual Charity Basketball Tournament, and collecting over 420 pounds of food for the pantry at Herod School. We are proud of this record of accomplishments and welcome these new members who bring new energy in support of our continuing work as NHS members. At this time, I would like to introduce our guest speaker, former NHS president and alumni, who currently studies nursing at Providence College, Faiza Villarin. Character is more than just being good for the public eye. It is being a respectful and responsive individual. 
for being here and speaking. We are so proud of you and your accomplishments. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the Davies Chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the four qualities that serve as standards for the society. Members of the chapter will now review these qualities with candidates. We begin with scholarship. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours of reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past. The torch guiding us to understand the present and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. In the words of Abraham Lincoln, the best way to predict the future is to create it. Now we will hear from service. or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. In the words of the great Martin Luther King Jr., everybody can be great because everybody can serve. Please rise. 
raise your right hand, and repeat the pledge. The audience can follow the text as printed in your program. Can it please join me in reciting the pledge? I pledge to uphold. I pledge to uphold. The high purposes of the National Honor Society. The high purposes of the National Honor Society. To which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. And will maintain and encourage the high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Thank you. You may be seated. Now that the San Pedro called your name, please step forward to receive your tokens of membership from Mr. Champagne and Ms. Napolitano and sign the official regist uh, chapter registry with Ms. If you'll please hold your applause till the end. Diego Ferreira. Daniela Montoya. Mia Victorino. Elizabeth Agucha. Destiny Barbosa. Lorena Brown. Oceana Cummins. Dulceline Dupina. Juliana Dupina. No gay guy. Abigail Gruyum. Miley Lopes. Alicia Mendez. Maya Nascimento. Allison O'Regan. Tyra Showed. Brianna Silva.
Isabella Barnes. Miguel Vasquez. Tobias Westling. Kaylin Woods. Congratulations. And now we will complete our transition of former officers to new officers. Please congratulate our new officers as we call them forward and present them with the President's Gavel and Officer Pins. President for the 2024-2025 year, or academic year, is Adia Pilara. The Vice President for the 2024-2025 academic year is Lila Lemon. The Secretary for the 2024-2025 academic year is Miley Lopes. The treasurer for the 2024-2025 academic year is Lorena Brown. The parliamentarian for the 2024-2025 academic year is Tobias Wesley. The historian for the 2024 to 2025 academic year is Destiny Barbosa. <laughs> Officers, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I promise to uphold the bylaws and constitution of the National Honor Society. I will work hard, lead by example, and uphold the office for which I was voted in for. I will be the epitome of the four pillars of the National Honor Society, scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Please help me in congratulating the new officers. Now, we will bestow the National Honor Society Davies Chapter of Excellence Award in Service for going above and beyond to the student who most exemplifies this. Here to present the award is last year's winner, Dante Costa. Dante is currently studying at the University of Rhode Island, where he is majoring in electrical engineering.
Give us one second. Today we are celebrating the students from the heart work committed to be successful in a society that is recognized nationally. Each and every one of them have all put countless hours into their studying, their community work, and their future endeavors. Davies has given these students this opportunity to see all the service they will be heard and listen. They have worked many hours helping the Davies community and communities outside of Davies. Even with all, all of the studies each of them have, they have all found time to contribute to a good cause and still keep the academics the best they can do. Whether it's helping out with the event here in Daisy or a food drive, they walk on ways to support the community. Continuing to show their commitment to further their future. The Davies Chapter of Excellence in Service Award is given to the student who puts in their all and continues to support the communities that make a change. Excellence is not based on money, background, or intelligence. It's about being connected and sharing with the community. They continue to show leadership and the courage to succeed. They strive for helping grow communities so that we all have a place to connect and share. The student has gone above and beyond with more than 120 plus hours, and this is why we are recognizing them today. They have worked hard to make a difference and to show others why it's important to participate in their communities. I was incredibly honored to be given this award a year ago. This year, we are recognizing Lila Floden for the chapter of the Jacqueline Arvalo is planning on attending the University of Rhode Island to study animal science pre-veterinary program and nutrition. <laughs> Jadriani Baez Estevez is planning on attending the University of Rhode Island to study electrical engineering.
Zaria Lynn Campbell is planning on attending Pennsylvania State University to study biology. Crystal Coelho is planning on attending Providence College to study nursing. Ryan Deleon Aguilar is planning on attending New England Institute of Technology to study nursing. Diego Ferreira is planning on attending the University of Rhode Island to study computer science. Brianna Garcia is planning on attending the University of Rhode Island to study electrical engineering with a minor in music performance. Samantha Grulon is planning on attending the University of Rhode Island to study pre-medicine. Victoria Mignon Morales is planning on attending Rhode Island College for cybersecurity and emerging technologies. <laughs> Brianna Montero is planning on attending the Community College of Rhode Island for nursing. <laughs> Daniela Montaya is planning on attending Providence College to study nursing. Adicellus Nichols is planning on attending the University of Rhode Island to study cellular and molecular biology. Sharon Gould is planning on attending Salve Regina University to study biology. Nikesha Torres is planning on attending the Community College of Rhode Island for general studies. Mia Victorino is planning on attending Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences for the Accelerated Nursing Program. Congratulations to all our students. I'd like to thank our advisors, Ms. Sanbento and Mrs. Mathis the officers for their hard working in organizing this year's induction ceremony, and the faculty for their support. We'd also like to thank the faculty council, the administrators, Ms. Watkins, Dr. Libano, Mr. Champagne, Ms. Napolitano, Mrs. Vado, and Ms. Freitas, as well as MX Adele Ventura, Ms. Apola, Ms. Broussard, Mrs. Dumachelle, Mrs. Paquin, and guidance for all their support and help. Thank you to those special attendees who walk in our new inductees. You are chosen for a special reason. <laughs> Each individual has someone who helped them on their journey through life and school. Please join me in thanking them with a round of applause. Thank you all for attending our National Honor Society induction ceremony. In just a moment, the new inductees will recess, after which you are all invited to join us for a small reception in their honor, at which time we will also be taking group pictures. But before doing so, please join me.
Uh, congratulations on being inducted into the Davies National Honor Society. You're all very deserving of this distinction, and I have no doubt you'll continue to live up to the high standards that you've set for yourself. I'm excited about what lies ahead for each of you, and promise that Davies will support you as best we can. Next to our current and graduating members, thank you for all you've done for Davies and for our NHS chapter. You've lived up to the scholarship, leadership, service, and character traits that enabled your membership. We've all noticed it. We're proud of you. And as these qualities will continue to carry you forward into the next successful chapter of your lives. Finally, parents, faculty, and other guests, thank you for supporting all these young men and women. Your presence, guidance, and care makes a difference. And the Davis community is very appreciative of all you've done and that you continue to do on their behalf. As you know, it takes a village. So very grateful to you. Again, congratulations to everyone. Have a nice afternoon. I guess I'm the last speaker. I'm in. So.